Okay, let's see if we can solve this here. We've got all the raw information we need to find the profit maximizing labor demand and so on. All right. So we've got a price of 10, wage of 15, et cetera, et cetera. Here's our production function and we have one unit of capital. First things first, set up the profit function. Price times quantity minus WL plus RK. Now let's substitute in everything we know, okay? So instead of price of equal to P, let's substitute in 10. Instead of the quantity, let's substitute in K to the 1 fourth times L to the 1 fourth. Uh, instead of a wage rate of W, we can say 15. We don't know the labor supply. That's what we have to find. And we've got a capital rental rate of 30 and one unit of capital that we're buying. And we actually need to substitute in that one unit of capital there too. And so our final equation looks like this. 10 times L to the 1 fourth, because 1 to the 1 fourth is just 1, minus 15L minus 30. All right? That's our profit function. Let's take the derivative with respect to labor to get our first order condition. Okay? 10 times, all right, L to the 1 fourth, we gotta take the derivative of that, we bring the 1 fourth down, 10 over 4, times L raised to the power of negative 3 fourths, because we have to sacrifice 1 from that when we take the derivative, minus 15, and we're gonna set this equal to 0 to get our uh, first order condition where the profit maximizing point, uh, where the profit's maximized. So now we have to solve this equation for L. Okay, so we've got L to the negative 3 fourths times 10 over 4. Uh, let's say that's equal to 15. We'll add 15 to both sides. Let's multiply and divide by 4 tenths, 4 and 10, to get rid of these guys. And we've got, I believe this is 6, so 15 times 4 is 60, divided by 10 is 6. We have L to the negative 3 fourths. So what are we going to do with this? Well, we need to basically, like, it depends on how you want to go, but I don't like dealing with these negative numbers, so I'm going to multiply everything by L to the 3 fourths. And then these will cancel out because we add these two, we add their exponents together, they cancel to zero, and then the whole thing is equal to one. And we now are at one is equal to six times L to the three fourths, or one sixth equals L to the three fourths. And last but not least, to get rid of that exponent, we have to raise it to the power of four over three on both sides, okay? So that gives us that labor is equal to, I'm going to do this in my head now, watch, 0 0.092. That's what labor is equal to. All right. So that is the solution. That's the amount of labor they should hire. It's less than one. Uh, we can imagine that, you know, this production function is measured in terms of hundreds of workers or hundreds of worker hours or something like that. And so getting some kind of weird number like this doesn't mean it's wrong. It's not like we're getting like 1% of one worker or something like that, or 9% of one worker. Um, if we wanted to find the actual amount of profit that the firm can get using this supply, what we would do is we would take this and plug that in for L up here, okay? And then we basically got everything entered in, so I'll just do that uh, quickly to show you how, to show you it's not a trick. Ten dollars times one to the one fourth times zero point zero nine two to the one fourth minus fifteen times zero point zero nine two minus or plus thirty times one and that's equal to so if we calculate that all out we get actually that if we take this this guy over here you get sales of you know, something over $5, multiply, subtract off $15 per worker times 0 0.092, and you get 4.13. But, you know, that's positive, so this guy's 
making as much money as he can on the part that labor can affect. But he's got the sort of dead weight of all that capital that he's responsible for paying for, which costs 30 for each unit. He's got one unit. You subtract 30 from that, and his net profit is negative $25.87. So this is the kind of person who would ideally prefer to change the amount of capital they own because they're losing a lot of money on it. To get to that, we're going to need long run. Uh, we're going to need to solve the long run profit maximization problem, which is coming up.